Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central. Many of you have been asking and googling when Roll Queue will be on live servers, when Sigma will be available on consoles as well, and just what Blizzard are working on next and kind of what's going on right now. Some news have slipped people by in the whole Sigma and Roll Queue craze because obviously those have been pretty big deals. And I thought I'd summarize it all into this video, going over what we know about when things are coming out and what's happening for the rest of this year. I've been playing a lot on the PTR myself and can't wait for it to actually come to the main client too. And let's begin with exactly that, the Roll Queue base. Beta. So there will be a Roll Queue beta season on the main client too, on all platforms. So the Roll Queue beta season will only be in ranked. There will not be any Roll Queue in quick play during this Roll Queue beta season on the live client. It will start on August 13th to September 1st. So it's a pretty short season, but they wanted to do some major testing for all platforms. Not really have it be a full season, just to try it out and see what would happen. September 1st is, according to Jeff, the official kind of release of Roll Queue, and it will go out of beta then and become a permanent feature in Quick Play 2, so not just ranked. And Blizzard are also adding Quick Play Classic then as well, with the current Quick Play game settings for people that want to keep playing that. So, August 13th is the start for testing on the main client and on all platforms, and September 1st is kind of the main date for when it's officially out and officially in its 1.0 version, I guess you could say. Next thing on the list is Sigma, who's on the PTR right now for testing, and he's already been tweaked once actually, there was a slight buff, we covered that in another video just recently, and Blizzard are no doubt keeping a pretty close eye on Sigma stats on the PTR. So new heroes are usually tested on the public test realm or public test region for about three weeks from their launch with very few exceptions. I think Brig is one of the only ones and there's been a lot of push to sync patches better too and with three weeks from Sigma being on PTR lining up with the Roll Queue beta season as well, I feel like we can say with pretty decent certainty that Sigma will be on the live client too on August 13th unless there are any other hiccups there. And last on this first little list of three items we have the balance patch of course and all those changes. So this includes the Brig rework or whatever you want to call it. Quite a few changes there and just some other changes to a number of heroes too and generally quite a hefty balance patch across the board. You can check out the patch notes via the link in the top comment if you aren't caught up. Also real quick in that balance patch, in those patch notes, there was a bug fix that has slipped some people by relating to Symmetra and Saria. It reads as follows. Fixed a bug that caused damage to not be dealt if a damage dealing ability was rapidly gaining or losing targets, like a Saria trying to track a fast moving hero. And this was apparently a case on Symmetra as well. Josh No commented on this officially, it was explained more in detail and essentially it meant that you just dealt less damage, you dealt the minimum damage with that weapon for Sari or Symmetra for a little bit. This is according to Josh No, who is also a, I believe, lead designer, he's kind of uh, Jeff Kaplan's co-game director it almost seems like at this point, I'm not quite sure what his actual title is, but he's very involved and this will mean a substantial damage increase for Saria and Symmetra in certain cases, according to Josh No. With those bug fixes and the balance patch to some degree being closely related with roll queue, especially changes such as the Brig rework, it just wouldn't make any sense to not push roll queue live without pushing the balance patch live as well. Brig would just not be played at all, and Jeff has expressed how important it is to adjust the game for roll queue as well. So if this goes live as well, then August 13th will be one of, if not the biggest Overwatch patches to date, with a big balance patch, a bunch of bug fixes in there, a new hero, and roll queue all at once. Pretty cool stuff, really feels like Blizzard are getting back into it properly now. I want to also just remind people that Blizzard will not be at Gamescom this year. With this extreme amount of content coming out around the time we'd normally get a map reveal at Gamescom, it's pretty fair to assume that they won't stick to that part of their previous schedule. After BlizzCon last year as well, it's likely that Blizzard want to keep a few announcements from Gamescom and stuff and put that into BlizzCon instead. But regarding these next few months, and especially BlizzCon, there was this clip from Seagull's stream together with Jeff Kaplan, so just have a listen here. Um, there's other things that are very soon, so... Um, very soon? Yeah. You don't say very soon willy-nilly. I don't say very soon willy-nilly. Um, very soon I would give a two-week window, soon, non-Blizzard soon, just Jeff soon is like a month 
or two from now, um, we have something exciting a month or two from now. Wow. Um, I Let's say late fall, or no, 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 early fall, late summer. I don't know if it's late summer, early fall. I don't know when the when the seasons change, the yeah. official date. But um, there's something very cool happening around that time period. And then BlizzCon, I think BlizzCon's gonna be really cool. We have we have some special stuff planned. And that's like what the team is just like consumed with right now is, is BlizzCon. Gotcha. That's what's on our mind. So first off, Jeff talks about when he says very soon, it's kind of like a two week window and something is coming very soon. It starts with that. This seems like a bit of a slip up, honestly, to me, because he immediately backtracks and then just hops onto another topic entirely. But it seems like there might be something more teased or revealed in the coming couple weeks even, but who knows really. Either way, he goes on to talk about late summer and early fall containing another exciting reveal around Overwatch. This is most likely what will replace the standard Gamescom way of doing things. If Roll Queue comes out September 1st, it seems likely that two to three coming weeks after that would be where this would be revealed. As Jeff says, it's roughly when people will be going back to school that this will happen. Gamescom happens usually around the 20th of August every year, and it wouldn't make sense to put out a map around then too, as we would be in the middle of Roll Queue testing. But with the going back to school part, this is in September in a lot of places around the world, and in the US I did see that colleges or universities usually start semesters the day after Labor Day in the US for example, which this year is on September 2nd. So with all of this in mind and general when people go back to school, it seems whatever the Blizzard team have in mind will most likely be coming out around that time. Moving on to complete these next few months content wise though, we have first off the Halloween event, which Jeff has actually said would be pretty much the same as last year, probably include skin challenges like this year's summer games but it'll be mostly a repeat with similar changes like we saw for summer games this year so at this point it seems like Blizzard are trying to move on to new territory rather than focus on the events I'm totally cool with that I think most people are fine with that sure the summer games this year weren't that exciting but we got a lot of other stuff to deal with right now which I think has more than made up for it definitely so we don't really know anything about what type of stuff we can expect from BlizzCon though but Jeff did say in that previous clip that basically the entire team have their eyes set on BlizzCon right now and that's the main focus for the Overwatch development team. With the way they are talking about all of this and changing up the time frame and especially with how we've started to hear mentions of another Overwatch game project being in the works at Blizzard, it's likely this will be very different from last year. Jeff mentioned how Mauga will become a hero at some point since he just didn't fit Sigma's ability kit and that's why Mauga didn't happen this time around. So we could be getting Mauga, we could be getting maybe multiple heroes at once, we could be maybe getting multiple maps or some type of big Overwatch expansion reveal, who knows. But either way, it is not looking to fill the standard content schedule with the way the Blizzard are approaching these next few months especially with how Jeff has gone about just sort of wording with all of this, things are clearly changing here. So that basically completes the calendar for the next four or five months or so. We're gonna have to wait and see what happens exactly. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the little calendar graphic to try and sum it all up. That's everything. I'm dying from the heat once again, so I'm gonna cut this video right here and I'll see you guys next time.